Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're looking at the life of Apollos and we looked at his education and we look at his ministry in Acts chapter 18, 28. It says, he spoke and taught accurately the things of God. Acts 18, 25, sorry. And then Acts 20, 18, 28, for he vigorously refuted the Jews publicly, showing from the scriptures that Jesus is the Christ. Apollos was a master of the scripture. It's what gave him his basic strength and power in proclaiming the truth. Now today there is a lack of knowledge within the church about the scripture. And we need to know the scripture when we hit difficulties. Uh, there's a story of a, a minister called Alec Pasmo, who's a famous Bible teacher. When he was at seminary, he was talking to some students who doubted the Bible. And he went off and he said, I went to get my ammunition to get the word of God we need to know the word of God it's the word of God that will strengthen us many in the last days are going to be apostatizing in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 7, 17 we need to know the word of God so that our minds are renewed in Romans 12 2 so many people are getting captivated by new ideas in theology Romans 12 verse 2 And be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be transformed by the ruining, renewing of your mind. In Psalm 119 105 the word is a lamp. Joshua 1 8 Be careful and diligent to obey the word. John chapter 1 verse 1 Christ is the word. John 13:17 the word is blessed Psalm 119:9 the word will keep you pure John chapter uh, Ephesians 6 verse 11 17 the word is armor Matthew 13 chapter 13 you'll see that the word is the seed of God that bears fruit chapter 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 the word of God is milk that feeds us The word of God is absolutely central to your ministry and your life as a Christian. How can you expect to survive at work or at college if you're not feeding and studying the word of God? You will not stand. How will you stand in your marriage and in your relationship if you're not feeding on the word of God? You'll not stand. You've got to feed on this. You've got to read it every day, study it every day, imbibe it every day or you will not stand. Apollos was a man steeped in the word of God. That's what gave him his strength. Are you going to be steeped? If you don't, you'll be tossed to and fro and not know which way to go.